Good morning. It is 10 p.m. I woke up late again, and I'm playing some solo vanilla Rust. Last time I played solo, it went too good to be true. It was absolutely insane. I definitely recommend you guys go check out that little series because that was insane. I am not expecting today to go remotely as well, but we can hope. Anyways, today I'm playing some official vanilla Rust solo. Looking for a good time, thinking uh, maybe we could build a base, do some oil, do some raids, run into some funny fellas. I don't really know. It's a little bit late at night, which means our start is going to be easier than usual because I decided to wake up at 10 p.m. Oh, look at this. There's already a mini coming. There's no way this is their base. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I thought they were going to crash. Oh, are they about to raid that? No, that's their base. A couple geared fellas that live right on the beach. Anyways, I look forward to it today. I am definitely going to go and get a gun and mess with these guys. Uh, that is going to be the first thing I do. So we've already found our plan for the day. I look forward to it. I hope you guys do too. In the meantime, let's go get like a gun or something. Let's take a look. I, there might be a shop selling some DBs for good prices, potentially. I guess we never know. All right, let's take a look at the shops. Sewing kits. Uh, AK for 3,000 sulfur uh, and no, no grub guns fully we're looking for some grub guns like a db's or sar for 325 sulfur some pretty good sar deals here i'd be lying if i said there wasn't but there's no one that's really so pump shotgun for 100 scrap water pipe for 30 scrap none of these are really worth it all right well how about we just figure it out and let me just get to outpost and get like some heals and all that jazz and we'll go from there I definitely want to go make a play on those guys that had the mini and were roof camping me and stuff. Seems like those guys would be good to make a play on. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, do you think you can pick me up? I'm friendly. I'm just trying to get to my buddy. I'm a little bit new, so if you could pick me up, that'd be very nice. What is this creature doing? Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, man. Good luck. What? Okay. My blood is boiling. I gotta go back there. I just saw like a large furnace on over there. I gotta go back. I'm going back. Let's get out of here. Decaying farm? Come on. Give us loot. Give us loot. Oh, wow. Yeah, we needed that. That's good loot. Maybe there's a little bunch of charcoal. Dude, what? This is like wacky loot. What is going on here? Could wait for this to decay a little bit though. Okay. Let me just go to this gas station and I'll go run and grab an Ioka and go back towards where that P2 guy was. Try and kill him or something. Those guys definitely looked like they were interesting players. If we get a gun, we'll be able to kill those mini guys. Easy, no problem. Made it to the gas station, it's looted. We don't like that. What happened to you, fella? Oh, okay. Quite possibly the most randomness assorted loot I've ever seen, but we'll take it. Let's just get some metal and get an Ioka and run over. Uh, there's nothing I can do here. Oh my God. Why is everybody on my enemies list? Can you pick me up, brother? I'm just trying to get a start if you don't mind. Uh, uh what'd you say? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Here, take this, take this, take this. Oh my god. Just unloaded in that guy's face. Wait, what? Sorry. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it like that. I'm a little bit nervous though. I just gotta make sure to make the right decision here. Oh my god. They have a base right here. They're they're the guys that are camping the gas station. I have to kill this P2 guy though. Feel glazed. You still here? The fuck? Hey! Try and get out of here. I guess the P2 guy must have just ran? It's cool with me. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Got recognized in the first second of the server. It's a little come up off the bat. Nice little old school blazed scam, dude. The OG of the OG viewers. No the blade scams that we used to pull on, on on this channel but because i just haven't been talking as much in game i haven't been able to do them so bro fell for the blaze pick me up what if we go hunt down that p2 guy that killed me in the forest earlier and maybe we can get a free kit or something off 
him. And then we could try and go hunt down the guys who actually just set up a shop and had the mini on the roof. Pretty good start to today. All right, let's recycle and get more metal for Eokas so I can craft ammo. All right, let's head out down here to where that P2 guy was and we'll hit him with one well-placed slug to the face. I just have to remember I have slugs loaded in right now. A lot of people have been roaming slugs again lately. I wonder if they're good again or worth using. Maybe we could find the P2 guy frolicking around in the forest again. Where was that large furnace? There it is. Look at that thing. Bro, what is that large furnace base? <laughs> That's the most scuffed furnace base I think I've ever seen in my life. Brother, what is going on here? I'm not liking the vibes of this place. I'm gonna get out of here. Look, this place scares me. I don't know. Let me just make it into outpost real quick. To drain that turret. Oh, never mind. It's online. He's shut one door. Please tell me he's coming out of this one. Wrong door, but still a great outcome. What do we do with this SAR now? It's been a good starting snowball. If we could honestly, like, hear a raid or something, that'd go crazy. Or we could just go mess with those guys who have that mini. Be down for that, too. <sighs> All right, I'm ending this right here and right now. I am buying tuna fish from the bandit camp because I'm sick of starving all the time. I mean... It seems like oil's getting run quite a bit on this server because small came up earlier and large is now down. So I would be down to hit up a small oil with no base. It's been such a long time since I've done it. Kind of sounds like fun. Maybe we get countered. Maybe we don't. Red key card for 750, 500. It's not bad. 1400 sulfur for both key cards. Probably easier to get 1400 sulfur or whatever than it is to get to actually farm the cards. I think we'll just go hunt for some sulfur really quick. Already got a first node. We'll go buy those uh, key cards and then we'll be good. I'm feeling good about this wipe. Something about it is it's making me feel good. I mean, it's been like a nice and steady snowball. It, it's been an enjoyable snowball thus far. Not too fast, but not too slow and agonizing either. There's a lot of snow bases. I bet some of these are loaded though. I see our last two sulfur nodes we need and we'll go purchase the cards. Go find a boat. Head out to oil. That's the plan, boys. Oh, full health cards, too. It's actually a good deal for full health cards. Respect. I guess we'll just get out of here and we'll go find a boat. Oh, God. Let's go find a boat and we'll be good to go. I think someone called in oil. So that means we're countering. Uh, so someone's at oil, which means we're countering, but... You know what? That sounds like a fun time. Remember, guys, we're here for a fun time. Not a long time. So, you know what, boys? As bad of an idea this is gonna be, I think I'm gonna send it. The smart play for me here would be to put some loot in some boxes on the beach. So I think I'm gonna do that. But I am gonna still counter, though, because it does sound like a jolly old time. All right. Should be good. It's time to obtain the cheese. I see a boat here. I hope he's not waiting right up above. That'd be the biggest problem, though. I need to hit this jump. I'm dead. Oh my god, I couldn't hit the jump. No. Well, it's a good thing to know that people are running oil on the server. Fuck, I couldn't hit the jump. I could not hit the jump, man. That's so frustrating. Ah, fumble on my part, but it's all right. Um, okay. What are our options here? SAR for 300 sulfur seems to be our best option. Or I could hit 10 sulfur nodes and get an AK. Pretty good option too. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. Large is it up. Small is getting taken. Ah, dude, if I could have made that jump, I feel like it would have been totally different. We still have a Revo, at least. I'd say we just go grab that other SAR or just the SAR from the shop and wait for large to come up, I guess would be our bet. Obviously, oil's being run, which is a great sign. 
you'll love to see it. It's been a long time. Honestly, I'm kind of washed on oil. It's been a long time since I've been. So, uh, you know, my apologies. It won't happen again. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to just go farm until I get to that one shop. And if I have enough to buy an AK, I'm buying an AK. If I have enough to buy a SAR, well, I already have enough to buy a SAR. And we'll just figure it out. And I think we'll either hit up large or cargo. I wonder if cargo will be out soon. But hit up a water monument. I'm feeling the water monument this way. It's a good sign. I just kind of wish I could have gone to Smoil just a little bit quicker. We'll let it come up. We'll let it come up. I'm not worried about it. What do we got going on here? Maybe some loot. Maybe some loot. Come on. I see a sleeper. It's a good sign. This looks like eh, maybe not rated. Loot bag. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Wait. Two loot bags. That's crazy. I'm so tired. It's not even registering. You know what? Maybe it's a good thing we died on, uh, on, on oil. Okay, let me get wood. We'll build up. Also, let me make some stashes. Let's be smart about this. That's some serious cheese. Yes. Gun with ammo. Seems like they just gave up. These guys aren't the, uh, the wealthiest players. All right. I mean, clearly it's not the most loot, but I will honestly happily take what we just got. That's a pretty big come up, a random come up, like the randomness come up, but I don't know. Why did that? I'm, I'm wondering if it got raided or something. I got with the horse right there. I think I'm going to try and take their horse. Aw, oh, these guys kind of seem cute. I don't know if I could kill them. Uh, aw. Dude, what is this? <laughs> oh. oh no 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 stop stop i'm friendly you gotta upgrade upgrade your foundations uh, upgrade all your stuff from twig to stone and get a metal door with the code lock all right w check on youtube there's a there's a bunch of tutorials on, on how to build a, a proper base. You, you should definitely do that. Uh, here, hey, take this. Yeah, you scared me. All right, thanks, bro. You're good. Take take the pickaxe and get some stone and stuff. I'm going to take your horse, though. That's the, the, the cost. All right? Good luck, guys. Okay. <laughs> we should come back and give them just like 8 billion rockets. They're kind of funny, fellas. Oh, my God. You know what? I totally forgot all the low grade in that base. Whoopsies. Here, take this, too, to protect yourself. It's out back. Give him a revolver. You just walked over it. It's uh, it's it's next to your base. I threw a revolver. To your right a little bit. To your right. Uh, there you go. Got it. All right. Bruh. That's a lot of cheese. Cheese, cheese. Okay. I guess we'll take this boat. I, I don't even know what to do with all of this stuff. Should we just try and live with them? <laughs> Should we just try and live with these friendly noob guys i'm down dude it'd be kind of funny yo hey is it cool if we team up can i live with you guys i don't have a base is that cool i got a bunch of stuff i can put in the base and, and i'll get it all upgraded and stuff okay all right here i'll go uh, deposit a bunch of stuff i'll, I'll get i'll get us a nice a, a nicely built base i trust you guys thank you here take this there's a gun for one of you there's a gun for one of you if you want to give me that pickaxe i'll go get stone and, and, and start upgrading if you want all right i'll be right back you guys hold it down i'm putting a workbench i'll be right back hey yeah before you leave where do i get cloth uh here <laughs> there's 500 but it, it looks Normally, it looks like a weed plant on the ground. Uh, right, or, or you can get like components like sewing kits and recycle those too. There, 500 should be enough for now. Make sure, make your guys uh, sleeping bags for yourselves. I'll be right back. This is actually, this is what cloth looks like right here. That's what it looks like. Oh, these guys are kind of funny. I like these guys. I think we're going to get them a lot of loot. I don't even think they know what's going on. They're just like, what? <laughs> I love it. So we got to get them a metal door, code locks, whole nine yards. Blasted a pig. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, this should be enough stone. They're, they're, these guys are a little bit shy, but it's kind of cute. Hey, you all good? Yeah, boy was hitting me. Oh, okay, perfect. I got stone. I'm gonna go upgrade the house. And I'll get us metal doors. Can you see this in chat? Yeah. Can you see that, what I typed in chat? Yeah. Alright, perfect. I'll put the code yeah. in there so, so that you guys have the code. Yep, thanks. 
<laughs> He's blowing fat clouds. This guy's awesome. Yes. I'm so happy when I find players like this. I was just happy to be here. He's along for the ride. How is their base location? Uh, not great. What up? Yo, you want to open that door real quick? Perfect. Perfect. I'll be right back. I uh, forgot we don't have a tool covered. That's kind of a big problem. We gotta, uh... Get these guys an airlock, because I just feel like we're going to get deeped on any minute now. They don't even have a TC. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. What are the odds that these guys betray me? I mean, I think I say that every time I play with, like, some some random new players. But what are the odds? What if they're just, like, having a bad day? What if they're just feeling devious? They're just feeling devious. They're like, yeah, dude, how funny would it be if we he got us loot and then we kicked him? I mean, look, all right, that thought crosses all Rust players' minds at some point, okay? I understand, but it's always kind of concerning. I keep looking at the team UI, wondering if I've gotten kicked yet. Let's go put this door on for them real quick. Still no TC. What up, it's me. Uh, do you want to pull this door off? Can you take this door off? So... Just hold E on the lock. Press E on this door. Is this your door or is it, uh, might be the other guys. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yep. Just like that. All right. I'm going to put this on. That's the code, okay? So make sure you, you get that. Just type, hold E on the lock okay. and type that in. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. And, and, uh, yep. You got it. I'm going to make, uh, ooh, I got to go get more wood. I'm going to upgrade this base so it's built out nice and, and, and pretty. Oh. <laughs> these guys are just like so confused They're just like all right <laughs> they don't even know they're just along for the ride i love it i hope we can take these guys on like a raid or something i just have to hear like a juicy counter raid problem is the base location isn't in the best spot but i have a feeling it could be good they made this a lot harder to do That'll have to do for now. All right, beautiful. We have a tool cupboard with upkeep. Let's go. The bare minimum. All right, let's place that workbench down there. I can depot my stuff, which is always nice. And let's go get enough to make another airlock. I have a feeling we're going to need to give these guys like three airlocks or something because I feel like new players always get deeped on and we don't want that to happen. I want to somehow obtain an AK soon. Oh god. About that, AK. Uh, great. Alright. Oh, that was an easy way to lose the SAR. I'm hoping oil comes up soon. Oh, large is up. I didn't even realize large was up. Okay, that's kind of huge. Okay, with large oil being up, what do we do? What options do I have? To make a compound bow. Go boat there. Hopefully get ammo, I guess. You don't have to uh, unlock the door when you come in. Just make sure to keep it locked. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go on a very, very long trip. And I'm going to get us some loot. All right? No, you don't have to... Okay. You don't have to unlock it every time. Make sure that this light is always red, okay? See, you can open it. You don't have to unlock it to come in. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Uh, try In the meantime, try and add a door here. So I'll show you. Fuck, the server's restarting? Are you kidding me? All right, it looks like I'm not going on a very long trip because the server's going to restart. So... I'll help. I'll, I'll I'll get the base built here. I'm just gonna add a door here. So we want an what's called an airlock. So that way, uh, someone can't kill you with this door open and run in your base, right? So I'm gonna put a door there and I'm gonna put a door here. I'll be right back. So guys, awful sad news. The server's restarting soon, and that means that I can't really make it to oil in time. So. I'm just going to help them build their base and, you know, get it built, add some airlocks, make sure it's all set up good. And then when the server comes back up, we'll run oil. I don't know if these guys are still going to be on, but we'll run oil and uh, make sure to get them lots of loot. Yeah, the server restart kills the momentum for sure. That's all right. Perfect. 
that bass door. Thank you, pretty good skin, huh? Yeah, I like it. So now when you go to type in the code, hit the letter R and it will type it for you. There you go. You always gotta like quad airlock. Make sure they absolutely cannot get deep on. Beautiful. Things are looking up. So it's designed like this on purpose, right? So that way, if someone kills you with the door open, they can't run in. So it's kind of a pain because you can't like, you know, walk through here. You got to close the door behind you and then you can walk in and same for this side. But it's designed like that. So that way, if, if I killed you right now, I couldn't run in, right? See that? Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Shit. Catherine got off. Sandra's on. I didn't even realize it. Just AFK. How do I sleep? <laughs> no. Uh, you sleep when you log out. It does it auto- Automatically. Server usually takes like four minutes to come back up. Oh, <laughs> how do I sleep? <laughs> this guy is so cute. All right, server's back up. Catherine logged out, said he left some food in the box. Uh, we still have Kandra though. I think we're just gonna try and get a tier two workbench. We're gonna hit oil, get some ammo, stuff like that, and uh, get right to it. What up? What up? Yeah, I'm gonna run oil rig when it comes up. I'm just waiting for it though. So in the meantime, I'm probably just gonna run around and explore the area if that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go mining. All right, uh, you know, message me if you need anything in chat. <laughs> okay. You guys are so funny. Got this guy logged out on his sleeping bag. That's so awesome. You really do love to see it. But I do think I'm just gonna run around. I saw a decent sized base over that way, so I think I'm gonna go take a look. But yeah, we just need some basic mats and I think it'll be all good. This little fella is looking pretty lucrative. Maybe. Potentially lucrative. Open tier two though. I could eco raid that, no? Dude, I totally could eco raid this. Oh, dude. Dude, I really think I should raid this. It looks just completely open down there. Okay, I, I gotta eco raid this. It's gonna take like forever, but there's no way that it isn't a lucrative eco raid. I don't care if I die. Okay, I did die. I guess all I need to do besides get health is get a bunch of wood and a lot of stone. I don't, I think it's like 13 spears or something to break through a stone wall. I'm going to be gone for the night. Just I'll be on tomorrow. Hoping to see a lot of progress. Thanks again for helping us. Uh, sounds great. See you tomorrow. You will wake up with lots of loot unless we get raided, which I hope not. Oh, these are guys, nice guys. All right, so Kandra, Catherine have gotten off, which just leaves me to do this eco rating escapade by myself, which is cool with me, actually. I think it's just gonna take a long time to get all this wood, but other than that, I think we'll be great. 24 spears in the crafting queue, looking good. Now we're about to spend like 30 minutes hitting a wall. All right, dub needed. God. Oh no. Dude. What is that? The water bottle loot box? This is a cruel joke. This is a sick joke. Sick, sick joke. Bro. What is that? Ah. Well, you know what? At least we got food, I guess. Can't win them all every time. I'm glad we could discover what was in there, even though it was awful. That is really, that's tragic. Oh, God. You know what, though? I do gotta say, felt good doing my first eco raid in, like, forever. It has been such a long time since I've eco raided with spears like that. I remember I used to, like, run around maps and just get a hatchet and look for bases that had, like, backwards walls, stuff like that, and just eco raid. Like, I do kind of miss. I remember how much fun that was. That kind of brought, brought it back a little bit. Now I'm on my eco raid jam. I want to see if maybe we could break into this camper van, but these are hard to break into, eh? Okay. Oh, right. Beginning to think these eco raids might be a waste of time. Breaking into that car 
like took almost as much time as soft siding that wall after the unsuccessful eco raids i'm gonna try and hit an oil i unfortunately lost the semi and the red card in an unknown boating accident that we won't talk about uh and so i'm gonna work on getting those back really quickly and we'll run that oil oh god why is there a full gear guy coming towards our base maybe i can Well, about those key cards, I think we got it back. Ah, uh, that is literally what I needed. I was feeling so demotivated. Guys, look at my- I died on oil. Okay, my death marker's gone, but you're gonna have to try- I died on oil, and I just, like, had to get up. Ah, oh, that is what I needed. Thank God I won that. But, that probably means someone won't be too happy with me. I guess that also means- uh, You know what? I should start by getting a sleeping bag in here. I feel like he lives around here. He's probably with the car guys. When we were eco rating earlier which is not good pretty solid haul if i may say so myself thank god we still had that custom otherwise we would have been in some trouble it looks like he was coming to purchase a boat so maybe he lives far away either way something tells me 2c4 is uh coming to this base very soon let me do this let me lock the tc that's always a good first step and then i will go out and go farm some stone and try and just honeycomb i feel like if that guy raids us he's gonna raid us probably go through doors i think no matter what i need to run an oil which is a bit of a problem i sense that we're gonna come back raided but you know what honestly that means i can just make a new base and bag these guys in it and it'll be a lot easier to get loot and stuff so eh, it's not exactly a bad thing i think i'm gonna do that that guy is probably kind of gasped that he just died that way i can't really blame him i'm really happy i killed him though i feel like i'm gonna walk out of this door and just get a rocket to the face i just i feel like i know rust players and that guy's gonna come and raid us i mean i would if i was him i'll be able to tell if we get raided because my teammates in the bottom left will have an x oh my god teammates in the bottom left will have an x next to their name instead of a circle let's go purchase a boat We'll hit up Smoil. If Smoil's bad, we'll hit up Loyal. I can't believe the lot. I literally like logged back on, saw that guy. I know this is like jinxing it and stuff, but I'm so happy. I, I, well, are you kidding me? What is that spawn? Last bullet too! I knew he had a bolt, so I had to hide. I'm so lucky I, I made that choice. I was thinking of just full peeking him. I'm really glad I didn't, because if he had headshot me, I would have died there. That was a good choice on my part. What a shot too on the last bullet. Oh, that poor guy. Tom is finding this body is going to be possible. How far was that headshot? Nearly 200 meter. Beautiful stuff. Oh, I see his body. That's some cheese. Alrighty. Nice stuff. Ah, things are turning around. Alright, and we got ourselves a brand new bolt. Let's go. I'm hyped. I'm feeling on fire today. After that headshot, I feel unstoppable. Should not say that. I feel like I have too many meds. I'll use this guy as my med storage for now, and if I have extra space towards the end, I will come back. And the heavies are bugged. All right, we'll take it, we'll take it. We're kind of in speed run mode, because I gotta go in a couple hours, but I am wondering if it's worthwhile switching bases or not. Or, or rather upgrading. Should I upgrade, or should I just entirely switch bases? That, I'm not sure. I feel, I feel like just keeping the base we have currently is 
probably our best bet for now. I want to see if I could get some boom really quickly, but that might be tough. I'm not sure how I plan on doing that. Pray for the 7C4 locked crate. I'm not asking for too much. Just for the 7C4 locked crate. Rather simple request, really. Um, you know what? We'll take that. I think we are going to hit up Smoil while we're at it. Just because of how late it is right now mine as well good for the ammo and the meds and the comps and stuff that i need this was thus far very successful though i'm extremely satisfied with what we got here although i'm not gonna lie if we didn't kill that first counter guy i feel like things would be on a different trajectory now it is time for us to go to large and i hope we get something decent off of there too um Ooh, cargo just came in. Oh, never mind. Grab that. We're hitting up cargo. God. This game is so beautiful, man. I don't know how they did it. These have... Hold on. This has an armored door on top of it. That base could be juicing. Might be able to hit a submarine raid on that. Yeah, we'll try and do it. We'll try and get that sub raid done by tonight. That base is probably loaded. With an armored door on top like that, I mean, come on. Oh, caught myself. Cargo ship pro tip, always leave that guy up front alive. If anyone tries to silent board with a boat or with a boogie board or in the front with a heli, he'll kill them. Uh, or he's sorry, he won't kill them, but he'll, sh he'll shoot at them. So basically like they won't be able to get on cargo silently, which is what you don't want. He he's kind of like the cargo snitch, except we like him. Being that it is five in the morning, I wonder if we'll have this cargo all to ourselves. That'd be kind of good. I wouldn't mind that. Peaceful cargo run. I mean, look at that. That base. That base is lucrative. That's probably where their main loot is. So I'd blow right there. But like, if we can just... I'm trying to think what we really need. I'd say the main thing is pipes. And we're about to get a lot of pipes from this cargo. So we're all right in that regard. Oh my god, dude imagine that'd be the fumble of the century if i just fell to my death i'll be honest i've done it before all we're gonna need is pipes and we're gonna need we're gonna need like quite a few pipes but nothing we can't get that's for sure yeah i mean it looks like it's gonna be like one maybe two walls to get to loot the really good thing is is that stone walls are super cheap to raid with torpedoes so uh, in terms of, but it's like 1300 sulfur to break a stone wall. I mean, it's like abysmally cheap. I honestly, I have no idea how it's actually a thing. I, I guess, I don't know. It's kind of funny. It gives torpedoes like a reason to be used. Otherwise, I don't think I'd bother using it. I just posted the two hour long, I rated a water fortress video, the longest video I've ever posted by far. And you guys have absolutely killed that video. Thank you so much. You guys are legendary. Appreciate all the love you've been showing to the channel. We are quickly approaching 200,000 subs. Appreciate all you guys that decide to hit that sub button. Likes, the comments, I read every single one of them. Thanks for all the nice comments. You guys are legends. I'm trying to post more consistently as well. Ideally, in a perfect world, I could post four videos a week. It's a bit much, but I still think it's manageable. You know, little little small update for you guys and a little thank you note. But on a real note, all jokes aside, even when I'm joking around with my boy Spoon or, you know, making fun of Dave or Llama or whatever, I see the love and it means a lot. So thank you. What if I did a wipe where it's like long sword only? I'm good. Never mind. I don't know why I said that. I'm all for a challenge, but that kind of challenge? Oh, hell no. Absolutely not. Alrighty. That's what we needed. If we could get like one more C4, we'll be set for this sub raid pretty well. I'll have some confidence. So I think we'll try and breach at least one wall with the torpedoes and then we will uh, potentially use the C4 to finish off the rest if we get more. Who knows? AK bolt face mask is great. More pipes. Last crate. See what we get. 
All right. Well, more pipes in the chest plate. Pretty good cargo run. I think we'll head over to probably that lighthouse there and recycle everything. Go home, make a tier two, get some sulfur, and go raid with our submarine. That's a scary sight. Imagine if that thing was like, there's someone in there. It's scoping me out. That's gotta be a sign. Dude, I just thought of it. That has to be a sign. I'll probably just end up buying a new one anyways, because I'm still probably about 45 minutes out from raiding. All right, over 1,000 scrap off of cargo and oil combined. Pretty solid. Now, let's get back to base. And uh, get ready for the sub raid, I suppose, eh? Pretty good. A bit worried about getting tamped by this AK guy that I killed. Praying I don't die here. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. That is what we call a much, much needed loot run for sure. And a very successful one at that. All right. So next up on the list, we need to do a couple things. One, it's important that we upgrade the base a little bit. I think making this thing so it's not just 2C4 is a great idea. And then two, get ready for the sub raid. Just... <laughs> These loot boxes are so cute. What do we really need for the sub raid? I guess we just really mainly need furnaces. Do we already have the sulfur in here for that? There's 300. We literally already have the sulfur for the sub raid. I didn't even realize that. Just make two furnaces and just start pumping out the sulfur really quick. We're just about there, ready to craft the uh, torpedoes. About 300 sulfur away. All right, I think that's enough sulfur for us to craft our torpedoes. We'll probably be raiding in the next like 10 minutes. Not bad, not bad. And we got more metal, which means we can upgrade. All right. That's enough sulfur. Let's craft this into gunpowder. 90 something torpedoes. That is definitely enough. Hold on, let me F1 kill. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go, you know, boat over there at my fancy schmancy sub. Bring the C4, bring this Expo ammo. I'm hoping that we're not gonna need to use either the Expo ammo or the C4, but I guess we'll see. And uh, we'll just go over there and see what happens. I'm interested. I'm looking forward to this. I think it'll be a good time. All right, we'll just recraft these and we'll just start running over. All right, looks like we're good to go, baby. We're coming up on the base. We have 105 torpedoes. 24 Expo ammo and a C4. This is the most scuffed raiding kit I think I've ever seen. Oh, and Heli's out of course, dude. Imagine if I could take Heli, get a bunch of rockets. Here we are. Let's see what we're working with here. I hope it's not too shallow. That could be a major concern. I think we're okay. I think we're, it's just good enough. I didn't see that big base in the water over there. I wonder if these two are related. I've got absolutely no clue. I think we're just gonna go ahead and try and send it. I just, I'm hoping there's enough depth here. Yes, there is. I think I'll blow in on this side. We're gonna be here for a minute. They add like aim cone to this. Like, <laughs> why are these things flying everywhere? What is this? Oh God, dude. Um, what? How did he get out here so quickly? Please don't blow up. Oh, I didn't sink it. Oh, bro, how did that guy get out of here so quickly? It was like a marathon swim. Oh, we gotta hurry this up though. Definitely probably lives in that base, if I had to guess. Doesn't want me raiding this goofy base here. Uh, dude, I see him running back naked from so far away. He's swimming out right now. All right, I need to at least get all these torpedoes shot. It should break soon. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, armored. Yucky. Armored door. What is going on here? Not a total bust. So I don't think I have enough to go through the armored door, but... This might be a potentially very lucrative base. Oh my god. This 
They got online. <laughs> this is the fuck. This is the funkiest raid ever. It's got an AK in there. Bro, what is this base? What's going on? I think that's a single door, a single sheet door. I, th I think. This is the most nerd moment I've had in my life, but it, I think I recognize the skin. Maybe, I could be wrong. I need to kill this guy though, if he opens. I'm hoping he just thinks I'm naked because he just stared at me and saw me naked. All I need you to do is open that door, brother man. Press E on the wrong door. Come on, you know you want it. You know you want to press E on the wrong door. Or that. Does that help me in any way though? I don't think that helps me. That was kind of stupid, huh? Best I can do is just wait for him to spawn in, right? I mean, I could break TC. I think I'll do that. Okay. Oh no, he looted out the mats. Not a good scenario here. This is actually just a cursed raid. I like. If I kill him and put him on timer, it at least gives me some time to think. It's gonna be loaded in there. I mean, he's got an AK in there. I don't even know if he's got a workbench, but I see like a box, metal kit. Like there's stuff in there. I guess I should just try and break his bag, huh? No freaking way. Oh my, that is, that is so unfortunate. Dude, this base is loaded. No! How low was that bag? Dude, the bag's 20 health. I mean, the problem is there's just nothing I could do. You put a new TC. Oh my god. It sucks ending the night like this. I mean, not all hope is lost. Maybe we could go deep. I don't really want to... Well, I guess we're going to have to rely on that. Foundation is no longer metal. He's loaded in there, man. I'm telling you. I just got to pray he opens this double armored on accident or something. Like, I'm hoping he tries to click on that door and fails and opens this. Like, something, dude. Anything. Give me something. Oh, he just bagged someone or something. Oh, looks like he's thinking about it. I feel like if I just sit here for long enough, he'll bite. Most Rust players do. This guy's a pretty patient player, though. I just wonder how patient he is. Surely he'll come out and seal at some point. Why wouldn't you? Yes, he took the bait. The bags have been broken. Oh. Slices of cheese, dude. Slices of cheese. GG's to that guy, man. We got a seal, though. Oh. Forgot. Good enough for now. I can always pick up if I have to. Oh, dude. So clutch. So clutch. I shouldn't count my eggs before they hatch, though. We need to get a new TC. Um... 2C4, some guns, bunch of comps though. The question is, did we profit 1800 sulfur? I believe the answer is yes. Oh. TC's looking beautiful. I don't quite understand what's with my luck, but feels like every other sub raid I do is like an online. I need to make sure he can't get in and close anything. What a cool base though. I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to build one of these one day. Very long time from now, but one day. I'd love to do it. It is just kind of a pain though. I mean, you see like this guy's getting raided. He's gotta like swim all the way out, you know? Like, poor guy. That's probably pretty infuriating. I guess we could just load up with the best stuff and try and get out, eh? Quite a bit of loot here. I'm trying to think of what the most important stuff is. Probably the AKs. I don't want some pipes. Always need pipes. Always. The nice thing about the subs is they have a storage module. I don't know when they added these, but yeah, pretty pretty clutch actually. Want to make sure I'm not like loading this guy up with guns or C4 that he could kill me with. And I need ammo pretty badly. Yeah, I mean these comps are great. It's a lot of scrap for my friends back home. Yeah, I'm glad I had the patience to sit around and wait, because typically I would not have the patience for that, but I'm really glad I did.
13 diesel, bunch of crude, some sulfur. We made our sulfur back. Let's go. Let's see. What are these comps do we want? Yeah, I was definitely farming the ocean. That's for sure. All right, good enough. Um, I guess we'll just go make the long haul trip home and uh, call it for the night. That was... That was successful. I'm very satisfied with that raid. I think that uh, it went pretty well, given that the guy got online. I'm, I mean, it is literally like six in the morning, really late or early, depending. Never mind. But that made that raid a whole lot more satisfying, and we got a wonderful loot haul. We'll have enough to upgrade our base for the night so that we don't wake up hopefully offline rated and uh, we can continue a day two on this server tomorrow and all we spent for that was 1800 sulfur plus a c4 which we got back 2c4 our 1800 sulfur and even our pipes so massive success Alrighty, made it back in base. If I may say so myself, very successful loot run or raid, sub raid, and very enjoyable, might I add, for me. I kind of feel bad for the other guy because watching your base just get blown up in slow motion and then you get deeped on, that can't be a good experience. But for me, it was a very enjoyable time. Our friends here who are still in bone armor are gonna wake up to a lot of loot later today. I hope we can make that last for them. Uh, I'm hoping we don't get offline. If we don't get offline, I will definitely try and give this server a day two later today slash tomorrow when I wake up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a very fun day. It was wonderful seeing our friends here. We got them loaded up with a lot of loot. If we're not offline tonight, I will be doing a day two on the server uh, when I wake up. So look forward to that. Much love, everybody. Consider subbing to the channel, liking the video, dropping a comment if you got any fun ideas or, I don't know, drop some YouTube emotes in the comments, boys. They're, they're underrated. I'll see you guys on the next video. Good night. Peace out. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Good night, editor. I love you.